Hi and welcome to Dad Not Good Gaming. Today I would like to talk about Days Gone, reactions and my opinion on the game based on the limited information available. Let me start by saying that I'm looking forward to the release of this game and I have pre-ordered. However, I only pre-ordered a couple of days ago and what made me do so was a number of videos by the channel Michael Does Life. Now, I have a couple of thoughts on his videos. Either he's unwell, or he's a genius, or maybe both. Watching his rants made me interested in what other channels were thinking. By looking around and doing some research, I decided that this was the zombie, or should I say, freaker, slash free roaming game I was looking for. With a review embargo in place until the 25th of April, I'm a little concerned that Sony do not have the confidence to let the reviewers loose. However, saying this, we still have time to cancel the pre-orders if reviews are not favourable. Now, over the past month, I've heavily invested time into The Division 2, and while I wait for further content, I really want a new experience to get stuck into. I don't know if Days Gone is going to be this fix I am looking for, however, some of the following points make me hopeful. The developers seem very passionate. From interviews I have watched, I get the feeling that the developers have really poured their life and soul into this game. I really hope this is real passion and not just an attempt to hype up the game prior to release. The gameplay looks fun. I like the idea of large hordes and knowing that you will probably die. The idea that you can plan your approach and set traps in anticipation gives a much more strategic feel. The world looks beautiful. I know that people are already slamming frame rates and popping of textures. However, I have to think about Division 2. Now that's pretty bad on the PS4 Pro, but I still love the game. I guess games technology is overtaking the hardware and developers are not always handling how the games play correctly. Despite this, I have seen some pretty spectacular looking environments with day night cycles and a variety of weather conditions. The gun melee mechanics look simple. I want to play a game that's intuitive and I'm hoping from what I have seen this will be the case here. It seems as if they've taken what works from games such as Horizon Zero Dawn and Red Dead Redemption 2 and meshed them together. And finally note, the soundtrack is great. Listening to the soundtrack has made me excited for the game. Why not take a listen for yourself? It's available from most major streaming apps. What I hope, I hope that the balancing feels good. I want a feel powerful but at the same time in danger and never comfortable. If this game punishes me for tiny mistakes I'll probably stop playing. I hope the world feels alive. So many games recently have claimed to feel alive and end up being a huge expanse of nothingness. Let me know below what you're looking forward to or maybe why you will not be purchasing this game. Please like and subscribe if you want free quick gaming content and conversation. Bye bye for now.